Hey there, it's Elizabeth O'Brien from Grammar Revolution, where we help you teach and learn grammar the easy way with sentence diagrams. And today I am talking about something that has plagued me for years. It has to do with whether or not you put a comma between adjectives. Maybe you've noticed that sometimes we have a comma between adjectives and sometimes we don't. Check out these two sentences. Why is there a comma between long and narrow in sentence two, but there's no comma between three and furry in sentence one? Now, perhaps you have Googled this question in the past, and if you have, you've probably landed on a site that has given you this rule. Use a comma between coordinate adjectives. Now, that's true, but the only way that's helpful is if you can figure out what a coordinate adjective is. And that's what we're going to explore today. But before we do, let's have a quick refresher on what adjectives are. Adjectives are words that modify nouns or pronouns, and they usually answer the adjective questions, which one, what kind, how many, and whose. All right, let's look at coordinate adjectives, and let's start by looking at the definition of the word coordinate. You can see here that it says equal in rank and fulfilling identical functions. And coordinate adjectives do exactly that. They modify the noun independently of each other and they have equal weight. So in the sentence, we walked down the long narrow path, the adjective long is modifying the noun path and the adjective narrow is modifying the noun path. If adjectives are coordinate like this, you need a comma between them or the word and. Now, you might be wondering, as opposed to what? How else would an adjective modify a noun? Well, let's talk about cumulative adjectives. And let's start by looking at the definition of cumulative. Increasing or increased in quantity, degree, or force by successive additions. And cumulative adjectives fit that definition perfectly. They are adjectives that describe not only the noun, but the combination of the next adjective plus the noun. You can think of them as building upon each other to modify the noun. Three furry cats cuddled on my lap. The adjective furry is modifying cats, and the adjective three isn't just modifying the noun cats, it's modifying both words, furry cats. And if you have cumulative adjectives like this, you should not put a comma or the word and between them because that would break up their cumulative effect. Now you might understand the difference between a coordinate adjective and a cumulative adjective, but it's not always easy to figure out what kind of adjective you're dealing with. Luckily, there are two tests that can help us figure this out. The first one is called the and test. Try putting the word and between your adjectives. If the sentence sounds normal, then you have coordinate adjectives and you do need a comma or the word and. If your sentence sounds strange, then you have cumulative adjectives and you should not use a comma or the word and. All right, the second test is the order test. And to perform this one, you try reversing the order of the adjectives in your sentence. If the sentence still sounds normal, then you have coordinate adjectives and there should be a comma or the word and between them. If your sentence sounds strange, then you have cumulative adjectives and there should be no comma and no conjunction between the two. All right, thank you so much for being here. I hope you found this lesson helpful. And if you would like to learn more about teaching or learning grammar the easy way, you should check out our website at grammarrevolution.com. See you later.